Nursing student Keisha Bates is among the 25,000 people in Maryland who depend on Planned Parenthood for some of their medical care. Keisha sought an IUD form of a contraceptive. I had never felt so comfortable with such an invasive and intimate procedure, and I left that appointment feeling empowered and respected and in control of my own body. Keisha is speaking out in opposition to a move in Congress towards cutting off federal money for Planned Parenthood. The Trump administration says it will support funding if the organization stopped performing abortions. Planned Parenthood rejected the offer. On this International Women's Day, leading Democrats held a press conference announcing support for legislation requiring the governor to fund non-abortion services offered by Planned Parenthood. We can show solidarity uh, in this fight against the Trump agenda and the war against women. The measure creates a spending mandate starting in FY 2019. It provides 2.7 million state dollars to continued Medicaid services and Title X family planning education. This is not about abortion. This is about basic preventative health care, well woman exams, birth control, STI testing and treatment. We need to remember our history. We don't want to go back to a loss of services and none of us should have to live by other people's values. The bill has enough co-sponsors to land on the governor's desk. No word on what he thinks about it. His press office says future budget decisions will be made and announced at the appropriate time during next year's budget process. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News. David.